Hi, I'm Eric Cox of Hux Racing, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare an 02 to 04 RSX charge harness for use in an MR2, SW20, or AW11 K swap. Now, this is a Type S version. It does not have to be a Type S charge harness. It could be a base series RSX charge harness. The only difference, really, that I know of is in the Type S, the starter lead to the solenoid is part of the charge harness, whereas in a base engine harness, this lead is actually part of the engine harness, not the charge harness. So other than that one difference, everything I do here, you would be doing exactly the same. Uh, this is the a version before anything is done to it. Obviously this one's used, has some mileage on it. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna go in and remove all of these plastic clips and harness retainers. None of this stuff will be kept for MR2 use. Just going to work our way down the harness and delete all this. Now, I've seen similar conversions where the charge harness is done for civics and such, but those guys will typically just tie their main alternator cable to the battery, whereas in an MR2, you must run the alternator lead all the way up to the factory alternator lead position through the fusible link in the front fuse box. Doing so, if you don't run the alternator lead like factory in an MR2, you end up pulling all your electrical load through the fusible link, and that's not a good idea. See, I'm just working my way through this, moving all of this stuff. No sense in being kind to any of these because you're not going to keep any of it. You can leave that one clip on there if you want, because we'll be leaving this piece loomed. Try to keep all this centered under the camera for you. I try to find where the factory split loom cut is, and then I can just go in and open it up like that. Peel that back. Find that piece. You won't be using that. Listen, go ahead and cut this off. Same as before. Cut the split loom down the down the existing split. Just being careful not to go so deep that you cut the wires inside. Get all this stuff off. It's gonna make for a cleaner job in the end if we get the bulk of all this stuff off of there. Sometimes down here on the end will be some sleeve. Get the 
Get out of my way. Okay. Here comes the good part because they bundled this in really tight. But this end down here, this would be the end that would have attached. This would have been the alternator end, and this would have attached back towards some junction block of the battery. Oh, I take that back. This would have connected straight to the starter. We're not using that anymore. And what we're doing, this is actually going to be a continuation of the alternator lead. So, alternator. This is not going to be a lead that runs to the front. But this would have went to the starter in a standard case series. Try not to confuse you with the explanations. Just keep following along and you'll see with the end result how we run it. Continue to strip all this part here back. Because the uh, an SW20 is already going to have a large cable that runs from the battery to the main lug on the starter, we don't need to use the, the part of that that would have been in the charge harness. We're going to use that length of cable to extend the alternator cable so we can run it inside the cabin. And I believe that's the knock sensor lead, which is coming off of this connector right here. So we want to be careful and keep cutting all this back. Separate this out. There we go. This lead is cleaned up. This would have been the lead, lead that would have went to the battery. Or excuse me, I keep saying that from the battery. This is the lead that would have went to the starter and the Type S harness. We're actually going to use this now to extend the alternator lead. So that piece is pulled out. That's all cleaned up. We just set that to the side. This here's your starter solenoid lead. On the tape Type S harness, this will connect to the main engine harness and that will go to your starter solenoid. That off to the side. Now we just continue to clean up this stuff right here. All right. So there's the two pieces that we wanted to to clean from all that. We got the main alternator lead. We got this section that would have went to the starter that now we're going to use to extend the alternator lead. Throw all this other stuff away. Okay, table clean. Now. To strip a section of this back. Slide our piece of heat shrink on. This is a six, six gauge butt splice. Trying to get all the wires in here. Sometimes a wire lead or two will try to push itself out. There we go. Now Obviously, I have these fancy crimpers, but you can do the same at home without these. I said it before, you can take a bolt in a vise and tighten it in a vise and smash the end down. Or just as easily, I don't have a hammer here, but just as easily you could take a bolt like this and hammer the end of the butt splice and smash it down and have a crimp just the same. Slide the heat shrink over it. And just 
like that. Okay, now, so now we have our charge harness with alternator cable for use in AW11 or SW20. The only one other thing I, I'd like to mention is I like to use these 3 8 junction blocks to extend the alternator cable and the chassis. You'll see I've put a ring terminal on the alternator end on the chassis side in the other video. Now, this end here, I believe it's 10 millimeter, does not fit on the 3 8 lug. I like to come in with just a file. You can use a Dremel, uh, some sort of rotary tool, or just a file. I don't recommend trying to hold it and do a drill bit. A drill bit will end up digging into this and just wrapping this whole cable up. So as simple as just taking a file, enlarging this hole a little bit, and it'll fit on a 3 8 stud. Or if you are sourcing your own junction, insulated junction block, you could get a 5 16 and not have to go this route. But I prefer the, uh, the larger 3 8 blocks. Uh, so, I mean, that's really it for preparing the, the charge harness. The only other thing is I'm gonna, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to prepare the engine harness section. Now, you can either go and loom this whole piece, this whole uh, alternator cable piece into the engine harness piece itself so the, the junction runs up towards where the ECU is, or you can just set all this on top. But this connector here should be a matching connector to what you have on your engine harness, and then your charge harness section will all just be plug and play. So, hope that helps. Thank you. This was Eric at Hux Racing.